Game and Wario. Game you and Wario, Gemu and o Wario is a party video game in the Wario series developed by Nintendo for the Wii U, named after the series of electronic games known as Game and Watch. The game revolves around 16 minigames played using the Wii U gamepad. The game was released in Japan on March 28, 2013, North America on June 23, 2013, Europe on June 28, 2013, and Australia on June 29, 2013. It was originally going to come bundled with the Wii U system, but it was replaced by Nintendo Land. Gameplay The game offers 16 minigames, consisting of 12 single-player titles two of which can be played with two players and four multiplayer-only titles for up to five players. The game exclusively uses the Wii U gamepad with no need for additional Wii U Pro controllers. During the game, players can earn tokens which can be used in a cluck-a-pop capsule machine to unlock additional toys and minigames. Topic single player titles Arrow Arrow is a single player game in which players control Wario in which he must defend a crop of strawberries from oncoming robots. The gamepad is used as a bow used to launch arrows at opponents. Hitting explosive objects allows players to take out multiple enemies at once. Players can also use limited pepper shakers to fire an explosive shot. If the robots reach the front of the screen, they will launch an attack on the gamepad screen, requiring the player to tap them to stop them stealing their strawberries. Shutter Shutter camera in PAL region is a photography game hosted by Mona that tasks players with using the gamepad as a camera to take photos of criminals. Ski Ski is a single-player game in which players control Jimmy T as he skis down a slope. The game is played with the gamepad held vertically, tilting the controller to steer Jimmy. The television screen shows an action camera of Jimmy's progress. The game has five levels that are single slopes, with the goal of reaching the bottom as quickly as possible, and an endless mode, in which the player has to ski for as long as possible without falling off the slope. Patchwork Patchwork is a game hosted by Kat and Anna in which players use the gamepad's touchscreen to put together patchwork puzzles. Kung Fu Kung Fu is a platform game hosted by Young Cricket and Master Mantis. Players must tilt the gamepad in order to guide young Cricket over a series of platforms, collecting dumplings to satisfy his hunger. Gamer Gamer is a single-player game in which players control 9 Volt as he decides to play video games in bed. On the gamepad, players play WarioWare-style minigames, featuring simple objectives that must be completed quickly. However, the player must also pay attention to the television screen and be prepared to hide the video game to avoid being caught by 9 Volt's mother. The game ends if 9 Volt is caught by his mother, runs out of lives in his game or end up falling asleep by hiding when they do not need to for too long. Players can also play the WarioWare minigames on their own by choosing 18 Volt. A stage based on this game is featured in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This minigame is also a feature in WarioWare Gold for the Nintendo 3DS. Design Design is a game hosted by Dr. Krieger for one or two players. Using the gamepad's stylus, players must draw on the screen according to Krieger's instructions, such as drawing lines of a certain length, having the small sketches attached to the face of a certain robot at the end of the game depending on how close the sketches came to the instructions. Higher scores correspond to better built robots, while lower scores correspond to broken down robots. Ashley Ashley is a game hosted by Ashley, in which players tilt the gamepad to guide Ashley on her broom through a dessert world. Taxi Taxi is a game hosted by Dribble and Spitz. Using the gamepad, the player must ferry around passengers whilst fighting off UFOs that are trying to snatch them. Pirate Pirate is a rhythm game hosted by Captain Wario. Players must follow commands issued by Wario and move the gamepad around like a shield in order to block flying arrows, flicking the gamepad down at the end of each line to shake them off. Bowling Bowling is a game of bowling for 1 to 2 players in which players can use the gamepad to bowl at pins in the shape of the characters seen throughout the game tilting the device to change the ball's movement. Bird A remake of the Pio mini game from WarioWare Inc Mega Microgames presented in a game and watch style presentation on the gamepad and a unique visual style on the TV. Players use Puro's elongated tongue to grab fruit falling from the air, trying to keep them from touching the ground, which destroys its footing, or landing on Puro's head, which results in a game over. Multiplayer titles 
Disco Disco is a rhythm game for two players, hosted by Mike. Players take it in turns to come up with rhythmic button presses that the other player must bounce back in time to the music. Fruit Fruit is a game for two to five players hosted by Penny. One player controls the gamepad and selects a random character within a crowd to control as a thief. Their goal is to discreetly steal a set of apples whilst not making themselves noticed to the other players viewing the television screen. At various intervals, hints will appear showing the rough location of the thief. At the end of the game, the remaining players take it in turns to select who they believe to be the thief. Islands Islands is a game for two to five players featuring Franck. Players take it in turns using the gamepad to launch their Franks onto a target board featuring various scoring zones. Players may also try to knock other players' francs around in the process. Sketch Sketch artwork in PAL region is a game for two to five players hosted by Orbulon. Similar to games like Pictionary, players take turn holding the gamepad and must draw pictures based on certain clues whilst the other players guess what the clue is. Points are awarded for number of pictures drawn within the time limit and correct guesses. Topic. Development The game was initially conceived as a technical demonstration of the Wii U gamepad's features, to be pre-installed on every Wii U system. However, in the summer of 2012 it was decided that the game would be released as full software after the development team felt they had created too many ideas to be pre-installed. After much experimentation, the team decided to release the game with a Wario theme. Some of the games were also used as Wii U technical demonstrations at E3 2011. In May 2013, Nintendo of America launched Crowdfarter, a parody of Kickstarter, to encourage fans to promote the game via social media. Topic reception Game & Wario received mixed reviews with a current score of 61 in Metacritic. Famitsu gave the game a score of 31 40ths. IGN gave the game a score of 5.1, criticizing a sparse game selection with only a few excellent ones. GameTrailers gave the game a score of 6.5, stating the clever ideas are overshadowed by uninspired minigames. GameSpot gave the game a score of 5.0, calling it too uneven and frustrating to wholly recommend. Destructoid gave the game a score of 7.5, stating that despite some unoriginality, all of the games are polished and fun. Game Informer gave the game an 8.0, noting how it showcases the Wii U's unique features well while calling the number of multiplayer games disappointingly small. Eurogamer scored the game a 6 out of 10, stating that there's fun to be had, but this isn't the reliable source of brilliant design that it should be. If you expected breezy old Wario to make sense of the Wii U in some fundamental manner, you're going to be disappointed by a game that occasionally seems quietly defeated by its host platform. You'll hope for an epiphany, but in Game & Wario's least inspired moments, what you'll get can feel uncomfortably close to an inquest. <laughs>